I'm doing US 12 garage sales today. You're so cute though, let's say you like I'm not, a, I didn't do a good job parking, so he's, <laughs> he's judging me. Going to an estate sale first. We'll see what's in this estate sale. It's supposed to be books, so. So immediately I saw the Dr. Seuss books and unfortunately this one, the comps just weren't really there for that one. And next I find a Balzac book, The Tales of Balzac. It was really beat up, the spine and the cover, but I will throw up comps. Originally I had looked this estate sale up on estatesales.net and if you don't know about that, you need to be doing it. And there was a Ouija board in one of the photos. And in one of my videos, I had already found a Ouija board from the private pick that I did with another Michigan reseller. But I'm always on the lookout for more, especially for reselling, because I ended up keeping that one for my personal collection. So unfortunately, the Ouija board was gone. It was probably long gone the very first day. This was day three of four for this estate sale because the person was a hoarder. <laughs> uh, today, everything was 30% off. The lady didn't know how much everything was going to be off tomorrow. But for today, I just focused on what we could find. And there's some board games there. I was trying to see if maybe the Ouija board might have been under there anywhere, but no dice. Here, just looking at some of the bags, the miscellaneous things, cookbooks. I pretty much look for joy of cooking and then move on. I'll be honest, I don't really mess with cookbooks a whole lot. They're so hit and miss for me, and I've had just such horrible luck with them that I just don't even try anymore. I'm not saying that's right or wrong. You should definitely do your due diligence and look everything up if you have time for that and the patience, but I just don't, <laughs> to be honest. I just get so frustrated with cookbooks. I've kind of given up on them. I, I'll try them again one day, but not anytime soon. I did look this up. Unfortunately, comps weren't really there for that one. So like I said, this person was a hoarder, unfortunately. So that meant a lot of stuff. This house was packed. And I'm, I mean, when this house was packed, it was packed. We've already seen the downstairs. I'm looking at the outside. Hadn't been to the upstairs yet. It was just crazy. It was just so much stuff. It was almost overwhelming, I'm not going to lie. And I'm going really fast with the camera, so I'm sorry, guys. I just wanted to try and get, like, a good visual of everything that was out here. A lot of glassware, tons of glassware, tons of antiques that I don't know a whole lot about. And at 30% off, some of the prices were just a little too steep, even with 30% off, that I just didn't even really want to do a whole lot of research beyond just basic Google browsing. Some of those books I did check out, but their prices were just, like I said, the prices were too steep on some of the books. Some books they had for like a dollar, and then other books were like $65. I don't know. So I'm just kind of browsing and looking at some different things. Christmas stuff I don't really touch, and I know I'm probably bad for not doing that but I browsed through some of these too and grabbed a couple out of here but I'm sure I'll eventually get back into Christmas stuff okay so here's what I grabbed the works of Balzac and then we have the mystery of Cabin Island and Black Like Me I grabbed that for personal it sounded interesting so I wanted to read that one and Complete Story of San Francisco Horror. That one is supposed to be around a $40 bill, so I'm actually excited about that one. This is the next sale where I saw a $2 monitor, but they didn't have the cord, so I was super bummed. Y'all see Tay looking at the Fisher Price toys. I'm kind of browsing everything. This sale I thought at first was going to be a flop, but it ended up being really, not really good, but decent. It, it wasn't a flop. I was able to redeem myself with some of these PC games and some of the free stuff that we found that you'll see towards the end of the video.
So at this garage sale, I grabbed these Bejeweled games. I think I can get $15 for both of them. That's on the list I at anyways. This is completely free. It does work. It's missing the back end part. Um, but I'm still going to give it a shot. I'm going to see what I can find for it. With it being vintage and VTech, that's pretty cool. So, and then I found these computer speakers for $2. They did, well, they said that it works. Um, and I'm going to see cops for them. I honestly may donate them at work because we need more computer mo computer monitors at work. So We're at another garage sale, which is right next to the other garage sale. Are we going to find something? Who knows? Let's go find out. <laughs> Inception. Boo. Go blue. So this garage sale was starting to look like, oh crap, I'm not going to find anything. <laughs> you know, the clothes were kind of pricey. And... I was getting a little discouraged, but then I found this Sensi Woot plug-in, and it was pretty much brand new. It had never been used. It was in really, really great shape, so that was awesome, and that kind of redeemed me. Okay guys, so quick voiceover. I got this Wii game for $1.50. I'll probably show you comps at the end of the video. And then I bought this for Isabel. It was just super cute and had a bunch of little drawers and she can use it for like her jewelry and I don't know. It's It was just cute and Izzy could use it, so I bought it for her. This is just a little trip down memory lane for me. My sister was absolutely obsessed with these Barbie figurines. Honestly, this is getting a little tiring, but gotta keep pushing through. So this sale had tons of lake and swimming stuff. The life jackets were like $30. They had some dollar tables and $2 tables and $5 tables. This stuff was okay if I was buying for myself personally, but to flip, it just wasn't, the profit wasn't there for me. A lot of these items were just like cheaper floaties and things like that, that I couldn't really flip on Amazon. So I did check these out. Comps for just one mug wasn't amazing, but putting them together could have been profitable, but some things transpired that I decided not to actually purchase them. So I just moved on. Someone kind of approached me disrespectfully, so I just decided not to purchase them. And here, just a bunch of miscellaneous household items that weren't super intriguing to me. I was just trying to move on honestly to find the books because I kept hearing someone mention books. So I was trying to figure out where that was. And there it is with Taybay. So 
so you guessed it. Another garage sale. So the sale was a bit of a flop for me. It was a lot of outdoor fishing, go sports kind of stuff. And the books weren't all that amazing either. So this sale overall was kind of a flop for me, but they had a really cute dog. Tay, you tired? Yep. So at this point, Tay and I have been garage selling for five hours and we're exhausted. And this garage sale, the prices were just no thank you. So I was kind of thinking that we striked out. I'd been finding owl stuff this entire trip too. It was just crazy. But I did end up finding something that was worth reselling. Nothing crazy, but something simple enough that I could flip it quickly on eBay. I also grabbed some books, which I will talk about at the end of the video. Now we got some stuff popping. We got two huge flea markets on both sides of US 12. We're just outside of Irish Hills, so probably slowly starting to get out of the Amstel area. Shout out Dom, prime time treasure hunter. I ended up buying something for my dad. Tay and I are both tired and hungry, so. We're headed home. All right, guys, go ahead and ignore my crazy, messy room here. But I'm going to show you everything that I grabbed today at the sales. I'm just missing some books that Tay included with his big box that he grabbed. Um, so that way he could, like, make a bundle deal. So some of those books aren't here. All right, so first we have this motor auto repair manual from 1976. It was $3, which to be honest with you is more than what I like to pay for any book at all. But the comps made it worth it. I'll go ahead and throw those up. So I grabbed that. Next was this Sensi uh, Owl outlet. It's not a plug-in burner. It's one of the outlet burners. It was super cute. I, I swear, this entire garage sale, I this entire trip today, I see nothing but owls everywhere. Um, which, I don't know what that is supposed to mean for me. But, anyways, it's in really, really good shape. It's never been used. And I'll put up the comps for that one. I, I'm going to be honest, I'm a little bit debating if I want to keep it, but... I think it's going to end up in the eBay store. 
Next are these Bejeweled PC games. I'm going to lot them together. I found uh, some comps for this one. I think I'm going to lot them together though and try for $15. List it at $15 and see what I can get. At that same sale, the lady had some free items. So I have not looked up comps for this yet, but for the sake of the video, I'll put something up over here. It's a vintage VTech, and I just found that really cool. The back doesn't, it's going to have to have some tape put on it, and I'm going to have to test it, but she swore up and down that it works. Obviously, she wrote on the sticker that it works, so we're going to give it a shot before I list it and make sure it works. Regardless of what comps are, I mean, that was free. Can't beat that. Paid $1.50 for this game. Comps are going to be to the left. Worst case scenario, I may give this game to one of my friends. They don't have internet hooked up yet at their house and their kids have a Wii. She's trying to find some cheap games. But again, I'll, I'll probably talk with her and see if she's interested in this game. And then if not, I will list it. Here I have some books. I paid way more than I wanted to for these books, I'm not going to lie, but I kind of wanted to support the garage sale was literally out in the middle of nowhere off the U.S. Highway 12, um, kind of like towards the back area. So I paid a dollar per book. The Full House, Mary-Kate and Ashley and It Takes Two, I can lot those together. The Nancy Drew, I can lot those. I have quite a few of the more modern Nancy Drew books. And then Boxcar Children, I always lot those up. I can also throw them into uh, future mystery boxes if I wanted to, if I don't have enough to do a lot on eBay. So I they were worth grabbing up, I guess, and at the end of the day. At the same sale, I grabbed this. I've seen these quite a few times at the bin store when I've gone with Tay. And we actually have one. So I looked up comps for it. I'll put that up on the screen. I paid $5 for it. Make a couple bucks on that. One garage sale that was like a putt-putt place. I like had tents up and we're letting vendors be there and sell stuff. Is where I found this. The cord for it is kind of weird. Like I don't know. I don't know what's up with that. But overall it, it looks to appear to be in okay condition. I just need to clean it up and take out whatever cassette is in there and get it listed. I am going to list it as untested because I have no way to test it. Next, I grabbed this for myself. I just liked the look of it, the kind of like witchy, rustic look of it. It's kind of heavy. It's pretty sturdy. Um, I got this from the garage sale with the cat guy on the side of the road. I can't think of what the name, the character is of that cat is at this exact moment, but it was, I just wanted to show support. And then I also had Tay when he went out and talked to him for his video, I had Tay give him $5 just because that kid was going out of his way for his family and to bring attention to their sale. And his mom said that it was working because people were starting to stop after they were getting slow. I grabbed these shorts at an estate at a sale for 50 cents and looking up this brand Marissa the bright like really loud patterns seem to be selling for pretty decent based on like some shirts I saw and stuff I haven't been able to find these exact pants I'm gonna list them for 25 free shipping because they can go first class and we'll see what happens for 50 cents whatever I get is gonna be some good profit this I got for a dollar. I know it says seven there, but this total sweetheart guy, um, he was a young kid actually. He was selling electronics and Pokemon and, you know, he's a flipper too. He's a reseller, dabbles mostly in like video games and cards and stuff. And I told him that this was my first digital camera that I ever had. He didn't have the charger for the batteries, so that kind of sucks but I'm gonna try and find one on eBay and support a reseller and what you do is you put floppy disks in the side of it and you can usually take about 20 pictures it holds about 20 to 30 pictures and then if you do video you're looking at maybe three videos and then the disk will get full but 
this is my first digital camera. This is what I used all the time. I, I still have pictures of me and my friends taking selfies with this and me and my sisters. Like my sisters will remember this and so will my mom. My grandpa gave it to me a long time ago and I, I still to this day don't know what happened to the one that my grandpa gave me. I don't know if I must have given it back to him or given it to one of my sisters or something. Who knows? But really excited to have this. So this was actually a personal buy and the guy was super sweet and gave it to me for a dollar. Next are these computer speakers. I'm honestly probably going to donate these to work because a lot of our computers don't have speakers and we could really use them. And then finally, we have this. Hey, spoiled me with a Katie Reed's bamboo custom made mug. Like they literally made it before our eyes. They had the laser machine out there. These kids were so inspiring. Please check out Tay's video and make sure to give Bam a follow on Instagram and check out their website. They have excellent quality products and I was just completely impressed with these kids and they're 14. They're not even freshmen in high school yet and they have their own LLC and I just really, really, you know me, I support entrepreneurial spirit of any kind. So it was really, really dope to meet them. So there's the haul guys. Thank you so much for watching. I loved going out today and I had a lot of fun and I'm so glad I was able to get out and get a piece of this US 12 garage sailing. I'll see you guys in the next video.